that is back in the woods and yep. off the beaten path. Um, we've been there for 22 years. It's been a golf course back there. A lot of people don't know it's there. Um, it's one of the best golf courses in Northeast North Carolina. It is open to the public. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, it's in a gated community, so it has the perception of being private. But we welcome you guys to come on out and learn how to play, okay? Um, we were rated four and a half stars by Golf Digest for many years, and that means we're one of the really, really good golf courses around. Um, I'm going to give you a little background about myself. As I said, I'm a Class A PGA professional, originally from Roanoke, Virginia. I, um, I moved to the Virgin Islands. I lived in Nashville, Tennessee. I lived in Vietnam for three and a half years. I lived in Cancun, Mexico. I lived in Antigua, and now my last exotic stop is Hertford. <laughs> All of these were in the golf business, so this career has taken me a lot of places, as you can see. I've got to see the world, and all of it was playing golf, so hey, <laughs> what better way to do it, right? If you're not do it, that's the best way. Work your way around the world. So, had a lot of fun, got to meet a lot of interesting people, and play a lot of really cool golf courses. Um, I guess you wonder what we do at the golf course. Um, we, like I said, we're a semi-private course, so we welcome you guys. I don't know, are you in school still? Are you out? I'm, I'm trying to work with, are you for Quimmins? Yep. I'm trying to get with some people there to figure out how to start a golf team. Okay, so if you know anybody, whoever the athletic director or whatever, whatever send them my way, okay? All right. We want to get started. And I have a feeling you two guys might be interested. Are you, are you with these guys too? Okay. All right. Um, another thing we do is we've had many, many charity events at our golf course, 32 events this year for charity. So we do a lot of good for the community as well, not just playing golf and having fun. Um, so a lot of good things happen at the golf course. You meet a lot of good people. We do charity events and help people out. Um, another thing I do is I teach golf. Okay. And one thing I really teach is brand new people that don't know how to play or never play. So the PGA has started this new initiative called Get Golf Ready in Five Days. Um, if you've never, if you guys played golf before, you have, you haven't, you haven't? No. This thing's perfect because it's, it's very intimidating to walk into a golf course and just walk in here and say, I want to play golf. You know, it's, you probably would never do it because it's, it's, you don't know how to react. So what this program does is start you from the very beginning of how to check in, how to walk in the golf club and say, hey, I want to play, and where the practice green is, and how to practice, and, and we supply clubs and get you started, okay? So it's a great program to get started. And the cool thing is you're going to be with about eight or nine other people where they're in the same boat you're in. These classes we put together, we'll start them in the spring. It's about nine or ten people in a class, and none of them knows how to play golf. So it's not intimidating whatsoever because you're all in the same boat, right? <laughs> okay, so what we do is we teach you how to check in. We teach you what the clubs are for. Like, why do you have all these different clubs? I mean, if you've never played golf, you have no idea what these are for. You know, they all have a distinct purpose, and you're only allowed to have 14 of them. That's the maximum. So we have 14 clubs in this bag, and they all have a distinct, unique purpose. Okay, on the first day, we're going to teach you, like I said, the basics. We're going to teach you how to hold the club, how to stand, all these simple things, just very basics that you have to know to play golf. Um, we're going to teach you how to dress. Um, you, can, you have to wear certain things at a golf course, uh, you know, because you have to be proper. A uh, collared shirt, you can't wear jeans, you have to kind of look almost business-like out there. Um, so there's a lot of things we're going to teach you, just the basics. Another thing is... We're going to teach you how to putt on the first day, okay? So anybody ever seen a putter like this? It kind of looks like um, the USS Enterprise. It's laser guided. It does all kinds of crazy stuff. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't do all that. It's, um, it's when you're, do you, do you know what the green is? Anybody know what the green? Okay. It's the, the grass part that's cut real low and has a hole in it and a flag. <laughs> okay? So that, that's how basic we have to start when we're teaching golf because people don't know this stuff. When I was in Vietnam, we had 100 caddies. And can you imagine training these people how to play golf? They've never seen one of these. So we're trying to teach them how to play golf and they can't even speak English. And, and 
golf has its own language anyway, so you know, we're going to have to teach them what end of the club to hold. You know, it's, it's very basic, so we're going to teach you all this stuff. The putter is the one you use when you're on the green and you roll the ball, okay? We're going to teach you how to use this, how to hold it, how to stand up, hit it, make it go in the hole every time. Don't believe that. <laughs> okay, the next day we're going to teach you some more things. We string this out. You know, it's not like one day, two, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It'll be like Monday, then the next week, and the next week. It gives you time to practice some of the things we taught you. Um, the next day we're going to teach you how to chip, which I've got three or four wedges in here that I use for chipping. Anybody know what chipping is? It's just a real short shot. Like, I'm not on the green. <laughs> I'm just off the green. And I want to hit it to where that bat, that cooler is. So it's just a real little soft shot like this. Get it up in the air a little bit, let it roll right in the hole every time. You wish. Okay, so that, that's something we're going to teach you is how to chip. Okay, that'll be on day two. Then day three, we're going to go a little farther and start using full shots. Okay, full swing. This is a five iron. Does anybody know why they have numbers, what the numbers mean? You notice the loft is different. One of them's angled more than the other, right? Okay, the one with the big loft or the big angle is going to hit it high but short. The one that's more straight is going to hit it low and longer. So when you're on a golf course, you've got, you might have a 200 yard shot, you might have a 50 yard shot. So you use different clubs for these different shots, okay? So it goes from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then you get into the wedges that are really lofted. And then we get into the woods. This is the big daddy right here. This is the one everybody loves to hit and everybody should stay away from because it's evil. It gets you in more trouble than, than you would know because it's fun to hit, but it doesn't go as straight. The, there's an old saying, the farther you hit the ball, the deeper in the woods it goes. Okay, so this is the club that hits it real far, but it also gets you in a lot of trouble. So we're going to teach you how to hit this one. This is the one where you put it up on a tee and you try to hit it as far as you can. Okay, so that's the difference in the clubs. Okay, so we're going to teach you also the rules. There's so many rules in this game. There's a little book that you have to carry in your pocket for a while, for years actually. <laughs> That, that has all these different rules of golf. And we're going to teach you, you know, how to read the book, how to use the rules. We're also going to teach you etiquette. There's ways you behave on the golf course. It's not like we're watching an NBA game and they make a basket, they dump on somebody, and everybody starts high-fiving and body checking. And you really don't do all that in golf. Uh, you can, but you know, people look at you a little funny. But um, there's, there's ways you have to act on the golf course professionally and, and just not tear the course up. We're going to teach you how to take care of the golf course. Um, when you hit a ball into a green, the green's real soft, so it makes a hole in the green. So we teach you how to fix that, cap it down so you like you were never there. Um, we teach you how, not like when you hit a shot, you've seen on TV where they hit a shot and a big chunk of dirt goes flying. Uh, you have to put sand in that so it levels it out. So you take care of the golf course as you're playing. This is one of the few games you'll ever play where you're the referee as well as the player. So there's a lot of honor and ethics involved in this game. You learn a lot of life's lessons. You learn a whole lot about the guy you're playing with. Um, you can play one round of golf and it's like you've known this guy for years. You know if he's, a, he's got an anger problem. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know a lot about this guy. Um, this game can take you a lot of places too, because, not just because you're on the golf course. You always hear people doing business on the golf course, it's a great place to do business and make deals. Well, that's not really true. You're not gonna be out there playing golf and, and sign this $10 million land deal. You're, but what it does is you meet the people and become friends with the people that make these deals. So you're, making, you're building relationships. So that's one good thing about golf is it builds a lot of relationships later on in life. As well as, it's a fun game to play. I mean, I've been playing it since I was five years old. So I played all the other sports growing up. Um, I'm a little too old to play those now. It hurts too much. I can still play golf every day. So it's a game that sticks with you. I played golf with my dad. It's probably the best time you ever have with your dad. You know, you just bond like that. So it's a great game. 
and it's just something I've enjoyed my whole life. It's took me all the way around the world. It can, you know, if you get good at it, you can get a scholarship, get a free ride to school. There's a lot of benefits of playing this game as a young person and as you get older. So it's, it's one of the greatest games on earth, and I hope you guys come and, and learn how to play. I, I, if I can get you to sign and put your email address here, we'll send you a note around March, around spring, when we're going to have that first class, and we can get you started. If you want to start before that, just call us at the golf course, and we'll, um, we have individual lessons. I can take all three of you one time and get you started. I mean, we love to get you guys out there playing. What do you think? You interested? You wouldn't be sitting here if you weren't interested. <laughs> all right, I appreciate it, guys. So. Hope to see you.